the Johto region. Follow up setting to the beloved origins of the Pokemon franchise. And that's pretty much all Gen 2 is remembered for. But I'm one of those weirdos that loves Johto, and today it serves as the backdrop for our journey. Nuzlocks have not always been kind to me. But if this thing crits me, I should look. Ah! So I figured I would up the difficulty by randomizing all of the Pokemon encounters and abilities. Will I be able to overcome the odds, or will Devastation strike? Welcome to Goatly Goat Gaming, new uploads weekly. Welcome on into Goatly Goat Gaming, and here we are at the beginning of my randomized Johto journey. And welcome to uh, what people think is the worst generation of Pokemon of all time. I happen to think it's one of the better generations. Uh, I think you get and a great experience out of the out of the Johto games. Two games for the price of one. I mean, how, really, two regions for the price of one. How can you argue with that? 16 gyms, one cartridge. Pff, sign me up every single time. Plus, I mean, the, the 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 geography of the region, I think, is is very fun to go through. I think the the, the kind of storylines of it necessarily are not so. I, like Pokemon got dark in later generations, you know. It's it's nice to kind of like have a bit more of a whimsical run through a, a Pokemon game where not where, where the stakes aren't so high, you know. Where like the worst thing that that's really happening to you is that like a little thievery out of a Pokemon lab. Like we'll see in a moment here, you know. Aside from that, I mean, like you get you get a lot of games where it's like you know, the world is going to end and we're going to be changing the 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 sphere of reality, and it's like what the guys chill out. Let's just why can't we just live in a Pokemon world, you know? I just want to be the greatest master of them all. Alright, let's take a look. So this is obviously a randomized Nuzlocke. I'm a little nervous about it, obviously, because I don't know really what I'm going to be expecting, what to expect. You know, I'm not really sure what I'm going to get. Um, what that means also is that all the items are randomized, the starting uh, Pokemon here are randomized, all the trainer Pokemon are randomized, the gym Pokemon are randomized. Uh, yeah, everything down. I mean, the only thing that uh, abilities are randomized. I think the only thing that haven't changed are like the types and the move sets and, and evolutions. So let's see who we have. All right, guys, let's take a look. Off the bat, Quagsire, the derpy boy. We can't argue with that. Let's, let's see. Let's see. We've got some strong competition off the bat. Dratini. Ooh, Dratini. I love a little three-stage dragon. And then Nidoran male. Ooh, okay. Now, I see, it's so hard to not say Dr I mean, I have to take Dr Dr Dratini, right? I mean, a dragon starter is broken. Yeah, we gotta do that. Absolutely. What do we name Dratini here? Now, what is the, 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 the theme that we should be naming our Pokemon here? Let me go, let me think. So I have a dragon to start. Ooh, you know what? Oh. I kinda like, you know what? Actually, wait a minute, hang on. We have the barnyard mascot hanging out here in the background. I mean, it's so fitting. We have to name this thing Gerald. How do I? How? Do I, come on. What was even the thought process there to not to not uh, go for Gerald? That's a classic. Goatly and Gerald. It was meant to be. Oh my goodness! It was so meant to be. That is absolutely the nickname I want to give my little Dratini buddy. I just realized that if I ever lose this thing in this run, this, the devastation is going to be so incredibly severe. <laughs> oh, I can't wait for that moment. That's called foreshadowing. <laughs> cool. Actually, and another thing I like about this this game is that, like, off the bat, before you leave the lab, like, it's also, it's first off, let me get back into it. It's quick to get into. You don't have to run into the bushes to go uh, run back into the lab. You just go straight to the lab next door. You go get your Pokemon. You get some potions. You get sent out into the world. You got Meryl hopping around Lyra. I'm actually excited excited to see what the uh, Meryl turns into. All right. I think the goal for this uh, for introductory part here, guys, is also we're going to try to get to Faulkner in Violet City. Depending on the length of the uh, episode, I want to try to kind of keep these to like about... Well, depending on the length of this first one, we'll see how things go. It's also the first time I've ever really done anything like this, so I'm not, uh... Oh, what was I supposed to do? I think I was supposed to go to Lyra's house, right? Don't yell at me, man. Please. Please. I'm, I'm just a child. Did you leave your Poke Gear at home? Oh, I need to get the Poke Gear. Oh, well, when you put it that way, let's just, uh, head on home real quick. Oh, mother. Pokegear acquired, and we are going to be heading on. I know how to, I, I yes, I know how to make a phone call, Mom. Thank you very, Mom. Th <laughs> thank you very, Mom. Thank you very much. Uh, guys, question of the day for you while we are getting on into it. Uh, what would be your choice of a starter Pokemon? If you had to, ch if you had the ability to choose of any Pokemon out there in the, in the 1018 or plus or whatever it is now, I think it's 1023, 
Uh, who would you? Who would be your choice as your starter Pokemon? Oh, thanks for your number, Professor. I'll be sure to uh, pick it up every time that you're crying with about an emergency. And by the way, while you're heading on into the lab, you want to take a look at that uh, red-haired kid there? He's 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 creeping, he's creeping Tom right now. You know what I mean? All right. Uh, now, as far as a Nuzlocke rule goes, guys, obviously the rules are going to be down in the description below. But also, we ha just for the sake of it, every encounter I get is... Or, I'm sorry, every uh, first encounter of a route is the encounter that I am able to catch. Uh, if I fail it, I'm not able to use that route for Pokemon anymore. Uh, however, that being said, the route does not... The, the, I'm sorry, the run does not begin... Where's my menu? Oh, menu. There we go. Uh, the run does not begin until... We have Pokeballs, so we don't have Pokeballs, so we gotta go. We gotta go do the training thing first. Oh, you know what? I actually didn't think to check on uh, my Dratini here. Let's let's take a look at and, and see what. Uh, oh, <laughs> let's get into a battle first with Kakuna. Okay, so that's good to know what's on this route at least. It's good to at least get some some data, some knowledge. All right, Gerald, what do we have to work with here? We've got Rap, Leer, and Thunder Wave. Thunder Wave. That's actually kind of dope. Getting Thunder Wave is going to make catching Pokemon in a Nuzlocke so helpful. I mean, the, the Wrap is a terrible move. And especially against Kakuna with the defense rising. I mean, it's just whatever. It is what it is at this point, right? Um, although we could Leer it. I could also T-Wave it now and just get it to stop hardening. That's, that's a good idea. Let's just do that. Prevent it from doing its, its, its garbage that way. Get a little experience for Gerald. Although I realize it's female now. We should name it Geraldina. <laughs> Um, but yeah, the T wave's gonna help us. Let's get this. Let's get this out of the way. Wait, let's hit the speed up button. Let's not. Let's not waste our. Let's not waste our time here. I forgot for a moment that I have the ability to do that. So let's just let's take advantage of that. And considering the fact that Kakuna knows absolutely zero attacking moves, I'm not worried at all. All right, let's take a look at Dratini's ability and nature. See what we've got to work with. Swift swim. Oh, that's gonna be so nice. If we run into well, is weather even? Well, this is a Gen 4 game of, of, of Gen 2, so there's got to be weather involved. There's got... All right, that, 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 that's fine. What's the nature look like on this thing? Or, uh, where... How do we check nature on this thing? Oh, it's a uh, stats right there. Duh. Um, special defense, lowered speed, raised. Dude, it's even better. In, dude, that's awesome. That's actually kind of cool. Okay, so this thing's going to be pretty fast uh, forever. Let's keep moving. Let's keep rocking and rolling here. Another Kakuna. Okay, I'm not going to be... Uh, you know what? Why not? Let's go for it. T-Wave you so you can't get too many Hardens off. Just get a little more experience here. I, I'm actually... I'm so excited we got Gerald at the start of though. I mean, having a Dragon-type at all... I mean, the common argument against Dragon-types is that, uh, as a starter is that they're so overpowered. Uh, we're going to put that to the test here tonight. Today. Whatever time of the day, uh, whatever time of day it is around uh, your neck of the woods, Blissey. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that could be thoroughly borked for a uh, for the Nuzlocke. Ooh, but five wrap. Okay, so I'm not gonna. This actually should be a lot. Let me let me do this first. Let me let me let me take Blissey down to uh, minus six on the Leer, on the defense. Oh, it can it can it can use pounds, huh? Oh, we are out of here. Bye. Bye bye. Okay, we are going to heal. We are healing. We are healing. There's no need to risk uh, Gerald at all uh, for an encounter that is not actually an encounter. That that that's that's the way we that's the way we do it. All right, uh, let's go grab that item that's randomized. We'll see what that is. What else can we? Ooh, yo, we could get a Fion on this route. Okay, dude, this route's actually pretty broken. It's it, this 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 route runs a range uh, from. Pretty insane to uh, Kakuna. So we're gonna find out one way or another what our fate is. That might that might Magghost Berry, Magist Berry. What does that do? I'm unfamiliar with this berry. This is in the Sinnoh region. Oh, they like to make sweets known as poffins with this berry and feed them to their Pokemon. Well, that's gonna be thoroughly useless, except for maybe what five Pokebucks. What else we have here? Yo! Sweet! This route is insane! This route is absolutely out of its mind! A level 2 Suicune? Okay. This is nuts. This is nuts. If, if we end up with Kakuna, uh, it, that would just... And Lady Wallafet. I wasn't expecting to see the lips on it that that, uh, that prominently. Okay, yeah. There, uh, but here's the thing. What's the rare spawn? 
Was Suicune the rare spawn? How, there are five Pokemon on this route at night? That's insane to me. Wait, five. No, wait. Kakuna, Blizzy, Suicune, Fion. Yeah. I, I think I think the Suicune was the rare encounter. There's also so many encounters. Uh, just p p Pokemon just getting in my way before I can even get over to Cherry Grove City. My goodness. Empoleon too, Dude, what is this route? All right. I, oh, I, I, I see, I see, I see a future, and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna manifest a future in which we get an absolutely borked encounter to start the night. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm, I have to follow you, huh? Oh, I forgot you're not wearing the running shoes. I'll try to go as slow as possible, so try keeping up. You got it, old timer. Yep, that's a Pokemon Center. That's a Pokemon Mart. That's Route 30. They'll be battling ahead in the most Mr. Pokemon's house. That is Zevatel. Some Pokemon are only found in water. Really? You're kidding me. You mean to tell me that a Magikarp can't be found in the grass? That's a, sh that's a shocker to me. Here's my house. Thanks for the effort. I'll give you the running shoes. Uh, didn't, uh, don't worry, oh, I thought he was going to give us the shoes off his feet. Trixie, sir. Cool. Now we are running properly. Let's go heal up so we can get some more wraps in Dratini's arsenal. And also... Can we get Pokeballs here yet? Or do we have to go do the Mr. Pokemon thing first? I gotta go talk to Mr. Pokemon first. Okay. Um, how many potions do I have in my bag right now? I got four in my bag. Antidotes. Uh, I'm going to carry a few of these. I traditionally like to carry at least three of these at a time. I mean, really three of all status healing items because especially in a randomized nuzlocke i don't know what i'm going to encounter in the in the grass i mean i could run into suicune i could run into kakuna i could run into uh Macargo. i could run into i don't know I, who knows who knows who truly knows oh the old man what's up sir what you let what you what you forget another token from you take it the map card oh you know having a map of the region would probably help out possibly potentially might just be me all right, let's see what's going to be our possible encounters on Route 30. A dragon air. <laughs> that's that's um, odd and ironic, and I don't know what to think about that otherwise. I'm just going to run from that for now. I, I know I probably should also be getting some experience for Jatini. I, I'm like a slightly weaker Pokemon. I'm going to try to like farm experience for Jatini so I can start getting a little bit more... Um, like a better move tree, honestly. Oh, hey, kiddo. How in the world can you be so oblivious to my eye-catching house? Hold it right there! Ah, uh, sir, I, I truly had no idea. Oh, I need the apricorn box first. That's what they were telling me in the, in the, in the chats and in the, in the little messages I wasn't reading. Cool, now I can grab those. What's this? What do we have here? A spell tag. Oh, wait a minute. That's... Isn't that something helpful to kind of, like, uh, prevent encounters? Or, like, uh, lessen encounters? Oh, it boosts ghost-type moves. I was very wrong on that. Okay, cool. Also, wait. Do I just want to make sure I didn't accidentally pick up a Pokeball along the way? No. Okay, cool. So the run still has not technically started yet. But we are going to go make our way... Making our way uptown, walking fast. Mr. Pokemon's house is... On the horizon soon. <laughs> okay, Gardevoir. Nice. Nice. For no particular reason other than that it's a good Pokemon. Get the sickos. <laughs> okay. What else we have here? Centret. Oh, so this is like a legitimate. Oh, did we even randomize the game at this point? My goodness. Let's run from this. Oh, you know what? I feel that actually I should be beating up the Centrets. Hang on a second. Centret is the one that I should be putting Gerald to work against. You must be Goatly. It was I who sent the, uh, the email to blah 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 blah. Cool. Mystery Egg. Which, actually, I realize is going to be randomized, so it's not even going to be Togepi. That's that's going to be something impressive. Hopefully. What up, Oak? I, actually, I'm not going to lie. I kind of... I, the, ever since... What is it? 1997 or so? The 1996? I've, I've always loved the Professor Oak musical theme. So whimsical. <laughs> 
I, I was, I, by the way, I was, I was alluding to it a little earlier. I don't think I said it out loud, but I think the goal for tonight is to uh, get to Violet City, get to Faulkner. Uh, depending on how long we go for this first part, maybe we will do the gym, but uh, I think we're going to probably save that for the beginning of the second part here. Assuming that I don't wipe it in this first part here as it, as it is. Uh, right. Oh, oh no, it's a disaster. It's uh, just terrible. What should I do now? Oh no, get back here now. All right, I guess we should go help the professor. Uh, again, do I, I still don't have Pokeballs, right? Just just making sure, just making sure I still don't have... Good, okay. I just wanted to make sure. Cast form, okay. This route this route could also be... Th th this one, I'm not going to lie. Aside from, like, Gard Gardevoir and really Dratini... I'm sorry, Dr Dragonair, which I already have Dratini. Uh, this route's kind of mid, I'm not going to lie. Cast form and center it, not exactly the most inspiring options. I also desperately need to get some experience for Dratini because this 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 rap thing is not helping. Rap is I didn't realize rap was gonna be such a bad move. I, I, not, not that I realize I mean rap is a bad move. I knew that, but I was I didn't realize that I was gonna get uh, hamstrung by bad offense with Dratini. I, I had no idea. It makes a lot of sense though. I mean, because like Dratini uh, as like an, a, a weak poke or like a, a, a as a baby Pokemon, like out of an egg, is probably pretty weak. Doesn't have a lot of good moves. This is probably the extent of it. Duskull? Yo, Duskull would actually be a nice encounter on this route. I would be very happy with that. And again, here's the thing. Are we going to be frail to Duskull? I think my best strat really is just to paralyze everything. Because then I can get ahead of it like that. Perfect. I can't... Oh, I can't attack it. That's right. That's a shame. All right. Well, we can just run from Duskull. We can't get any experience off that. Yeah, that was a pro game remove right there, guys. Absolutely understanding and remembering that I can attack a uh, ghost type with a normal move. Oh, wait, I cannot. I don't even want to get into the tussle with the uh, with the Dragonair, honestly. Am I going to be just farming off Kakunas? I think, I think that's probably the safest way to do this, is just to farm off the Kakunas. All right, let's heal up again, because there's no reason to be risking ourselves here. And let's head back to the... Oh, wait. That's right. Oh, this is going to be such a hard battle. Again with the rap thing. Dude, I... Mm, did we wipe here? I don't know. I, I should have been farming Kakunas. <laughs> I should have been farming them sooner. Oh, boy. <laughs> um... That, okay, I was gonna say that was not bad damage. Okay, that's that. Th th as far as first turns go, this one could have been worse. Oh, that's we don't we no Nidoran. You don't you don't need to be doing that. That's that is an absurd level of of, of absurdity is what you've done there. Oh, please don't don't pack. That, you know what? I don't really want you to be leering like me, like that on me. I, I mean, granted, I'm doing it to you, so I understand. Like eye for an eye, I, it, it, and, and I, I know. Like, oh boy, this is gonna be rough, isn't it? <laughs> no, you know what I mean. Okay, that's not bad. That that was that could have been worse. You're doing okay for someone weak. I trust me, brother. I I feel you on that one. Oh, do we use the potion now, or do we just? I think we just wrap and we hope for the para. Get a crit? Just a crit. Simple crit. Oh, let's go! We got the para! And it was freed from the wrap on that turn. But we outspeed it, though, so that's fine. Gerald. G Gerald. Gerald! What have you done? Well. That was depressing. I'm pretty sure Dragonite won't forgive me for weeks. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked that, be sure to like and subscribe. And be sure to tune in next week for part two. So begins the redemption arc. Ha <laughs> ha.